Welcome to the second video about my homemade pulse jet engine. If you saw part one, you'll notice it looks a bit different. I've made some modifications to it. And I've also got a more permanent setup, fuel setup here, for running it on these little butane propane cylinders. I'm going to jump straight in and try firing it up with its modifications. I haven't tried it yet, so I don't actually know if it's going to work better or if it's not going to work at all or what we'll see. Well that seems to work quite well. I think it actually does run better. It certainly runs cleaner. But basically what I've done, I've taken the volume from here and I've added it onto the end there at the cone. And this was suggested to me by someone that this cone should be further forward than the, the inlet one so that it doesn't draw fumes in. That could be why it's running cleaner. So I've got it idling nicely on the gas cylinder. So that means I can now add other fuels in the other side of the fuel rail. So I'll see if I can get my map gas set up running again and I'll idle it on the butane and open up the map gas. Maybe even some map liquid in it. When I rocked it about there to get some butane propane mixed liquid in, it fired up nicely. Gave a bit of thrust as well because it sort of pushed back. Uh, the other thing I'm going to try is my homemade acetylene. I think it might look at a fireproof suit before I do that. This time I'm going to try idling it on the butane propane cylinder and then I will introduce some map gas into the other side and then I'll tip the map gas cylinder up and give it some liquid. This jet is definitely working better than it was before. Not only is it burning cleaner, but I think there's more thrust from it too. My original design of it, I had a, a small section in there, about an inch or maybe three quarters of an inch, and I couldn't get it to fire up. I'm now starting to wonder if there was something wrong with my fueling or maybe it didn't persist long enough with it. I didn't have this piece added on there right enough. So possibly that's to do with it, just that extra bit on there has made the difference. My spark plug works okay with acetylene. I did put some calcium carbide and some water inside it and sparked it and it worked like this. It also starts a bit more easily which is quite good. So I'm obviously getting nearer the optimal design. I imagine it depends what temperature it's running at as well, what type of fuel you use. You know, if the butane propane mix runs at a lower temperature than the map gas, so it could be like two-stroke exhaust systems. You've got to take into account the temperature for the expansion chambers and things. It's probably similar here. 
I also think it might be running cleaner because there's less restriction here. So when the vacuum's created there, it'll be pulling the flame front back more. It'll be pulling in there, the air for its fuel. There'll be more momentum as it comes round. It probably means more compression. So if there is more compression, it'll burn cleaner. So the next stage is acetylene. Now I was thinking, my little homemade acetylene set up, which looks like this. That little setup probably can't produce too much pressure, and I wouldn't want it to produce too much pressure either. So it'll struggle to fight against this, possibly. I'm not sure how even a mixer was getting, putting map gas in one side and the butane propane on the other, because it's just a, a tube like that with some holes in it. So it would be getting more map gas at that side, more butane at this side. Probably wasn't mixing too well. So what I might do is add a second one, either there or possibly that way in the middle to allow me to put my acetylene in it and I don't know how well that would work with liquid fuels which is the next stage I'm going to do I'll probably save that for the next video because this is going to get too long Well that's me all set up to try a little bit of homemade acetylene in the pulse jet I'll idle it as before on the little gas cylinder and then I'll drop some calcium carbide into my acetylene bottle it'll bubble through the water to stop it flashing back I've pre-purged all the lines uh, unfortunately there was a little bit of water ended up in the pulse jet so I don't know exactly what that will do to it but we'll soon find out <laughs> Well it did work, there was a bit of a problem getting it started with the water in the jet, it was spitting and backfiring a bit. I think there's just not enough acetylene getting produced from that little setup to make much of a difference. It did look like it was burning hotter right enough, it went quite orange rather than the cherry red it usually does on that little gas cylinder. I'm reluctant to go producing a larger acetylene device because they have a habit of blowing up. It's highly dodgy stuff, especially when you've got it under pressure. It's highly explosive, it's got a very wide explosive range. So I think we'll just leave it at that. To kind of make up for the lack of excitement there, here's the map gas again. <laughs> fuel I really want to try in it is methanol. So if you'd like me to see my attempts at getting it to run on that, please like and subscribe and come back to see part 3.